What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're looking at a hand history from the Bounty Hunter Sunday Special 10. Here we are. So first off, we raise, face a three bet, kind of decent, Whoa. early position, easy fold. Yeah, I'm folding. Yeah, your four bet bluff should start at ace-queen now, right? Like in, in GTO. Deep stack. I don't know. Raise. I think ace queen knows prob like is like the indifferent one. You can call four better fold. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't like I don't like to four bet ace queen. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I was just saying that like it starts like theory wise, it starts above ace jack. It's not you, they're a little low on bluffs. Yeah, you so, could do ace eight though, just a little larger, right? Yeah. So check check, spike the eight. You bet's pretty big. We're gonna have to call. Mm, pretty bad river. Yeah, although like God. Spades missed. Is he really value betting a 10 again? Straight he has a, kind of He has a lot of hard. Jack X that were bluffing that get here too though. That is true. Jack X is a perfectly reasonable bluff, including Jack X of Spades, which like some kind of like trashy Jack X Jack. Five of spades or something could jack work. five, jack seven. Yeah. Ace is good here or bad? I think some tens will still find this value, but Ace is I could good. be wrong though. Thank you. I, I, I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I think you're right. I think it's like a better player that realizes they can still bet kind of biggish with a ten. Let's see what I did. I don't remember. I think I like full here, but it's blind against blind. It's third pair. It's probably a theory call, but like it's yeah, it's one of your best hands you get here with. Because, like, you're betting most of your tens on the flop. Yeah. Probably off the ball, right? You're not calling with a lot of jack X on the turn. It's just one of your better hands. But, yeah, I don't, I don't hate to play. Easy game. Um, why do you see that? Because uh, that's just what I do. I open flops and I see bet the flop. If this was four way, would you see bet? Yeah, that's my thing. No four way, no, because I'd be out of position. But in position, always. Okay. It's fine. You could go a smidge smaller. Don't really understand what he's doing, but okay. I mean, you know. So we get this. Now it starts to matter. So this guy leaves. <laughs> uh, raise. I mean, always every raise. Time. Yeah. Is this too large? That's it's huge. I don't know if yeah. it's too large. It is. It yeah. is big. But... I mean, <laughs> look at look at how much you leave board, behind. Though. This board is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a board you want to size up, right? I don't. You don't. You don't... But you don't really have like a raise fold with that sizing, so I think it's a little face up. I think you need to pick a sizing that like you can but conceivably 11. raise fold with. I like eleven. Yeah, I don't think this guy's calling. I made it too up. Ten, I think would be fine. You'd still have a fine SPR going into river or going into yeah. turn. He calls. Oh boy. Ten's too small for me. Puts me in on the turn. It could be. Wait, okay. you you raise then There's he a guy behind. Donks. Too. You he then donks turn again. Yes. <laughs> Please tell me he has like. I mean. Call. It's like, eight, it's like ace 10. Yeah. yeah. 10. yeah. What yeah, an idiot. Yeah. Nice hand. It's like this is yeah. a $10 tournament or something. <laughs> yeah. This here is just bold. Huh? Sorry? Huh? Was that a queen nine suited fold to three bet? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. What do you mean, dude? No versus... way. <laughs> what do you want to do? Button? You want to play out of position? You made it small. I'm calling here for sure. It's such a thing. Oh, dog. Dude, this is a clear call. Are you kidding me? Wait, like, can we check like, this? Am like I this far off? Of, well, bottom of our suited range. Let it go. Let, Let it go. Call queen 10? Let it go. I think my queen 10 is mixing, honestly. There's no way. I looked up the ace 8 hand, and yeah, you're indifferent on river. What's your fold to three bet, Nick? Um, like fifty-five percent. 
I think mine's 45. Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... I bet and Mr. Di Stavila liked it. He liked my 45 fold to 3 bet. Honestly, you did. If you call here, you're a door too. Even the machine is folding. See it, Danny? Yeah, you I can. Lose your five big I can make hundred. this profit. I can make this profitable against most opponents. <laughs> Out of position, and Nick, I'm pop. shocked you don't you don't defend these against. Like you have no respect for anyone. You're just gonna fold. It's kind of weird to me. It, it starts at two to tens, right? Yeah, you yeah, think you should learn from Mainly. You should go all offense and no defense. Exactly. Yeah, I'm over aggressive. I'm not a. I don't call and actually, too much. At, at these stacked ups like 50, 60 plus, you can I don't know, uh, man. four bet like King 10 suited a lot, right? King you don't get to win big three bet pots on the river if you're not playing them. All right, well, this one's all right. If, actually, all seven two off. You might hit this donk. This donk yeah, is ridiculous for sure. Can you raise for value? Uh, I'm in a sandwich. I got a pretty strong hand. I'll take the two from him. Oh, I think I just yeah. It's pretty nice to keep him in with dominated seven x and six x and straight draws just, and stuff. You said donk. It's just see that, right? Sorry, I misread. I misread the action. Yeah, we we called it position. Yeah, so just call in the sandwich. I like it. Yeah. Oh no no no! This no. is too, too big. big. Too big. Is it? Yeah. You want him to like float you with like ace jack. I want to have the board locked the up. Like... Make a mistake here. I want a weaker king to make a mistake here. No? Yeah, but like make, he has other hands. Against like, the sizing. Ace queen, queen jack. Like they have other hands than just a king here. And I think. Yeah, but this pocket, is, ten, is, pocket is, nine. All that, no? You have a really strong hand with a redraw to a stronger hand. Like keep the fish Dude, on the line. If I have like queen jack and I like. Thought I could like blow you off with one small flop bet, and then you called, and then and then you bet like 80 percent on turn. I'm probably just folding here because I'm like people are just start bluffing the sizing enough. <laughs> like against an unknown, I'm not sure I'm calling. I mean, down if down. you bet like you know seven or eight, it's gonna be what like a seventy five percent jam on the river. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Uh at <laughs> this tournament, these people are wild in. Lamp, I squeeze. Oh my god, a little bit or yeah. whatever. I mean, who knows what his range is there anyway? Full. I like that. You're, I like that your three bet's not too small. Is it? I said that okay. I like that it's not too small. Okay. Yep. Not I think a... people just like go strictly three x, and it's just a little small, and you can just get a little more value. Not a great... uh, I don't like this. Oh no. I'm like, I don't block kids. So. <laughs> but it. dude, you know, you teach us this stuff. What's your main bet size on a monotone flop? Small. Yeah. That's small. I know. My he mistake. can call you with like, he can call you with like a 10 with no spade. He can call you with like king 10, no spade if you bet small. Mm -hmm. That hand is like dead. Okay. And because you're not getting a single big spade to fold anyway. So like, you can't really protect. That's You're, the key like here. a single base is, is not gonna fold. Well, yeah, so like, but you're not protecting. Like, they just have a lot of equity against you anyway. Value bet. Um, yeah. See, it's in it. there. It's in there. Ah, I'm not doing it right. Twenty five. I mean, it is. It is. In yeah. my mind, I'm value betting. You know? No, I mean, I know you're value betting. I just think you can like. It, you can like target more weak parts of their range. Yeah, certainly you're value betting. You have the best hand most of the time. No doubt about that. Like I have and then it. it's just like also if you bet small, then you like you get to like wait for the safe turn card, and then you also get to value bet a safe turn card and like continue to put their single spade hands in the vice. Kind of awkward. Check check. And then this. I just bet. Why? This. Well, it's like I raise, he calls. I have like a, a hand that can check color, check raise. So I check. Club turns, I turn too much equity. Here I'm like, if I make my hand, I want, I want to be able to play for stacks. I don't think he checks back many queens. I think he probably even bets most of his tens. 
But when the 10 pairs, he has less 10s. And I'm pretty sure he bets every queen. It is a good good hand for your range because you you checked a lot of ten on flop, so that's true. So in my do mind, do you want to get do you want to get called by worse hands? Well, in my mind, when I bet here, I'm ahead of everything he has, so it's a value bet. Oh, sure, no, but mean, like pocket, my question is precisely pocket pocket fives, five four suited, a four suited. I mean, he has he has hands here. Yeah, would you make it four? I mean, I yeah, I like. Three, I think four. the solver is gonna not even bet this hand a lot because like best unpaired hand. If you're gonna keep any clubs in reserve, I think it's probably top two. Like you're gonna bet more like like I'd prefer to bet ace jack than ace king. Right? <laughs> I'd prefer to bet king nine than ace king. I get called by ace jack when I bet the ace king here. Not this I mean this sizing, maybe not even. Yeah, because he can't have a, even a single club in hand. Or he actually has a jack of clubs, so that's irrelevant. Pretty relevant at this point. Like he has no 10, he has no queen. And then uh, I think if you're value betting ace king, you got to go kind of small to get called by worse. Okay, so you guys are at four or three? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe just hold this this hand in reserve. It's There's no doubt that you have a lot of equity. Like yeah. that's not an under debate, but it might just be that it plays better as a check. Yeah, here's the thing though. Yeah. I've been doing a little bit more blind against blind stuff, and I don't know. I think like small blind polarizes a lot more than I thought he does in general. You know, when we bet, when we uh, bet. Uh, I would agree about polarizing, but I think this is a polarization error. Like your polarizing is like good queens, tens, and then like you got a oh. bunch of junk. Like you have like jack seven. You have like, you know. What was the pre flop? Did you raise or limp? Right, right. I it. think it's probably a C bet flop, just C bet range flop. Okay. <laughs> Two. I thought I was. Um... I mean, checking a little bit's not crazy. I, I see the case for betting, but on turn, you see the solver saying strictly an error. You know, when we raise from the small blind like this, any high card rainbow board, like if it was ace 10 4, would be great for me. Queen 10 4, I think, great for me. Like, yeah, two Broadways, it's good for, good for you. Oh, for the original raise or so, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if uh, we but, do check this, can we look at our turn strategy? Because I don't hate checking. I think checking is fine in a mix. It's not too happy. Then, no. So yeah, it's, it's like small. if it's a value bet, you're just losing value. You're starting to isolate yourself against better hands at some point, you know? Yeah, but it's so close, right? There is some... Yeah, but, but, like the, but the main sizing is still down there at 21%. Like at 21%, I can definitely foresee me getting called by just like, just non-believing like, Jack eight, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you guys like that sizing on the turn? It's it's funny because a lot of times you'd overbet here if you were deeper stacked. You're kind of shallow. What is, does he have to do? He has just one answer. It's jam or fold. No? I, I think, think it's too just, big. I think you could just shove if you want to go the size, or you could go two e. Yeah, I like going like fifteen to really just box him up with some stuff. Ten like I, twelve to fifteen. I'm and scared. I don't hate shoving sometimes. Because I think without a hardened hand, shoving is viable. <clears throat> like hands like this love to not see a river. Okay. Maybe twenty here would be better. I'm going even smaller than that. Can you throw this in 18. the machine? I think you might have some shoves. Because, like, yeah, SPR of, like, what? It's, like, 1.8. So, yeah, it likes 25. It likes 50 on flop. That's not surprising. No all in. Yeah, it's, I'm like, mistaken. 12. Yep. It's, like, 2E. And this, this just boxes him with some stuff and lets you have bluff still. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're setting up SPR of, like, 1 fourth on river, you don't really have bluffs. We got a diamond. We got a 10. I'm checking. Yeah. I'm pure checking. <laughs> I, no, I'm not going to check. In position, I got a diamond. What happens if you get raised? And if you're super using and you know the uh, attack oh. card's a king. Right. If you can see. What do you do versus a check raise, Louis? Is it fold? Yeah, it's kind of a disaster to throw away this much equity. I don't know. It's not that like, against like. Rather... Against like Jack Nine, you have a lot of equity, right? Yeah. Feels like it's not that much, but okay, maybe. It's a bit. Oh, reverse. 
We have two overs. We have backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Okay, here we are. What do you guys do? I mean, bet for sure. Um, kind of like small to medium ish. I don't think you go that big when you when you turn because you want to bluff a ton here. Like you have so many like your ace highs want to bluff. Like honestly, your whole range probably wants to bet a lot because they're just like think? they're just tied up around like nine x and five x, and I think you want to apply a lot of pressure to that. I don't know turn three way strategy well. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know the three way strategy for sure. I'm probably polarizing here, like all because you we have like a king or nothing. So I like this sizing. All right. It's interesting. I've seen these both ways in these like scare card comes on the turn kind of spots where like sometimes it's like range a bit smallish and sometimes it's more polarized. And I've honestly never figured out kind of which way to. Well, it's interesting too because we we were on the hijack on a nine high board, so we don't really connect with it and we bet. So we're not going to be betting a ton. I think I think we're checking back like like forty fifty percent of the time. So I don't think we have a ton of ace x and king x. Could be wrong, but what do you guys say here? Okay, snap fold. Okay, me. I've never folded faster. Yeah. Well, I think it's a call, right? No. Uh, Nick, you are right on the king high board. I looked at the heads up solve, and uh, it's all bigish against big blind on that action. It, it'll be different in a three way action, but at least in a heads up. Uh, it only really uses 83 and 125 on turn. I think these yeah, players do great in multi-way PKO scenarios. You should always call here. Oh, this is a PKO. I don't think we knew that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Bounty under. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, what's the uh, what's the worst pair that you're calling here, Louis? Uh, Fives? <laughs> Peter. Dear God, no. Peter. Good question, Peter. I might fold deuces. That's it. I mean, I don't How know. Many... Let's phrase this a different way. Under the gun raises first in. There's two more people in the pot. Big blind, three bets, which is a notoriously under bluff spot. Under the gun is happy to put all of his chips in. Like, what? give him a range. Assign him a range. Mm, I don't need to. You, you certainly big, need to. It's a small big pair. blind. PKO is going to do great. No, but big I mean, you have to assign like, him a range. A big blind, like, as a nine plus and then like ace queen plus i don't think so it's a pko early stages blah 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 Ten how many starting stacks is this ah good question Hopefully. i don't know man you're up against two uh, capped range one starting stack yep just just 1.2 1.3 yeah i'm folding i ain't folding <sighs> This is so not yeah. good. What do you think? What do you think the big blinds range is? Listen, I think like nines plus is pretty accurate. That's what you gave Nick. Yeah. I mean, without a read, like who knows? But it's a ten dollars tournament. But like nines plus. What do you think he like? Does? Like Jack Sevens plus. Jack ten suited. He calls. Oh, God. calls. <laughs> he calls. He calls every time. I don't know, man. I disagree. I think small pairs here are always going to do amazing. I think your versus two people where you're flipping or crushed against both ranges. So, like, they never right, have worse, right? Showdown. This is just, Seven. like, the best you could have hoped for. One guy has sevens and the other guy has ace-king. Like, what if they had nines and ace-king? What if they had sevens and jacks? Like... <laughs> Okay. Just spike it, Tim. Fair. Just spike it. Just spike I had how considered you that strategy. Just spike it. No, seriously, this is a mandatory call. I'm not sure. We should uh say this and use a tool later. Yeah, I really think it depends on how you range these guys. And also, it's like it's not just what the theory range is. It's it's uh, Maybe. and the fact that they show up with sevens and ace king is like not that encouraging to me. If someone showed up here with ace jack, I would feel better, you know. Like, right. if someone showed up here with fives, I would feel better. In my book, this is a mandatory basic PKO call. What about sevens? Same. What about sixes? Same. 
Yeah, I think you're calling like the ranges matter, right? If this was like a guy open cut off and he platted button and small blind jammed and cut off re isoed, it'd be different because oh, they're pairs out of here. Their value ranges are wider. Not not when they're not jamming worse pairs. But but equity, yeah. I mean equity, you can't just like say equity. Equity is against a range. And like what? if the range is weak, then you have a lot of equity. If the range is strong, then you have a lot less equity. Right. So like what? this time these two guys have a hand, right? It's so one of these times, but what I see in the field, sometimes this guy has 10, 10 7 off. I just want to note on that player. Like, I want to. I want other people to take the ball before I'm gonna. So, Louis, hypothetical. Let's say the worst hand of big blind jams is pocket sevens, um, and then like, I don't know, ace queen off plus ace jack suited plus. If Do you think them, this is a call? One of them is in it. I start to change my mind a lot about this call. Like a big. I, I don't think that's nitty. I think that's just like standard strategy. Just like a GTO opponent. I think people shove all kinds of stuff. Here. Why do you think that? Because it's call, call, call. So my range is super capped. His range is super capped. So he's only really fighting with him and he covers him. And if he has a big booty or anything, and then these guys, you know, it's a Sunday, man. His wife might be yelling at him. Who knows what he who could be up to. So this year, I don't really respect this. This here. I don't know. Is a worry. It's a lot of assumptions, <laughs> but okay. But I don't. I think this is a very, very basic spot. I don't think you should fold any pair. It's an HRC question. Yes. At the end of the day, right? Yeah. Hundred percent. To find out what I think the uh, what the theory range is, and then we can talk yeah. about it for the next play. Yeah, but in my mind, it's not even close. You run every pair. I think it's I think it's close, and then like sixes is a pure fold for sure. Sevens probably pure fold. Okay, so we save it. Yeah, will we both it in the? And get, I mean, give Louis the benefit of the doubt and give the big blind the widest range you think is reasonable, and still, with the under the gun call, I think HRC is going to not be kind to Louis. Well, if one guy's a whack ball and then the other guy, you know, has a reasonable range, you're you're still getting a decent price to hunt at that range because you cover both. Louis, does, Louis, does the low buy-in price affect that decision as well? It's easy to rebuy for a tenner. No, nope. <clears throat> absolutely not. Okay. I think you should play like that at every step. Every depth, every price. The, the, the bigger the price is, the more you should take this spot. Okay. The the smaller your edge is gonna be. The more often you can punt and get lucky. <clears throat> so I put it in the PKO. Where's Ken when you need him? That, that's a rhetorical question. This one's interesting. Yeah, I I I'm raising a lot larger here. Yeah, I don't like I know that you can make some adjustments. I think they're interesting in weird spots. Um so he folded, is that a thing? Big one folded? Uh he was uh out. He's all in pre flop. Yeah, he's out. Should that's why like why do you min raise, Louis? Cause no one knew, including me. That this oh, okay, that's fair. That's a really good reason. Okay. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I did. Yeah, I did the same thing sometimes. So no one knew, including me. <laughs> so uh, this, this, oh, it's a, it's a theory gross. call, but it's kind of yeah, like yeah, you probably call so. easy call. Uh, I mean, it's just like some people uh, on the earlier hand. Yes. Go ahead. Since, since you know the big blind, who is your most likely opponent, is is in any way, why do you need to bet larger? Why bet? To try it out. Well, the big blind's all in, and you want to bounty hunt him, so you want to isolate to get a heads up. So raise to like six or seven, so you oh, don't get 10 callers bounty. behind. Yeah. Right, because his bounty. I forgot bounty. Okay, thank you. 
I probably just went 2.1 hoping no one would notice this. Or I didn't notice myself. Okay. But the 10, I saw it though. <laughs> Okay, so tall, blah, blah, blah. Where's the club when you need one? Get this board. We check. You see that? We're out. So this year, what do you guys do? Three bet? Three bet. Um, three bet or J, and they're both fine. Jam? Yeah. A little spicy, spicy. What do you say? I mean, bounty, right? We we're okay with taking big pots. So, check, check. What do you guys do here? I'm going to pop it. Absolutely. Yeah, it seems fine. Uh, probably a little bit too big three ways. I, but... I might go 60%, but like, especially with the Ace of Hearts, yeah. you're a little bit more protected. I agree. I'm going like 70 to 80, but I don't hate pot. I think it's fine. What are the violations that, that um in a three way pot we usually bet small what why does this change our mind i'm trying to exploit these guys if one of them wants to call me we, we're gonna make it it's game. it's that the it board texture is a very typical very typical yeah. like big big bet it's um double gutter so like there's so, like every hand you can imagine has a gut shot but no hand you can imagine has a straight i i feel like the rule it's a multi-way bet small has gone out the window for me completely it's not really a rule there's a lot of boards where you have big bets still Okay. <laughs> I'm going way smaller than this. I agree. If you want to get value here, I think you need to go. I mean, you see B10 in the fall. You can't. You can't show weakness here. You what are you talking about? Smaller than a third. You if you, you show the hair of weakness is gonna jam and got loads of what into you. And then the SPR is one. What do you do if you have ace king, ace queen? Same? But no. I think it's a mistake. Throw it throwing this off. Like you're is gonna this, just bet like twenty percent to ten percent. If you show weakness to these people, man, they're gonna just run you. They're just gonna, you know. Maybe you want them to then. Well, yeah, but then it's kind of like you, if you've actually induced bluffs from better, then you can call off profitably. If if your hand doesn't have value and he just has an ace, then you have a fault. Like, uh, yeah, it doesn't have it. But yeah, I think what Kings is going to be B10 or B20 here. You're allowed to go small, especially with a low SPR. Yeah, I'm like range betting 10% or 15%, just tiny. Solvers probably just has a jamming range that I even a three bet range because there's what, two callers, three callers? He, yeah. he doesn't have a calling range in the three bet. Doesn't he? No, he must. So nope. that's that doesn't make sense. No, something's. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. No, oh, I think yeah. you're looking at somewhere else. I think you're looking at big blind. Like the big blind, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Carl, and then the board is Ace of Diamond, and you know, hand so, clubs. If anything allows you to be a, a little bit, a little bit slower. It's a small effect, but must be a C bet. C bet here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can check. This hand can be 10. This can, hand can be 20. This hand doesn't ever go bigger than that. 25. Yeah. So, yeah, you net picker 10%. But if you 10% I mean, here, mm, <laughs> I mean, you say net picking, but you bet three times the amount of 10%. Yeah. And it like 25, you get 25 is the high side in the solve. The mix is between check and B10 and B25. And that kind of gives you the idea of where the range is. And the club the club pushes it to the, the B25 a little bit more. Uh the opposite. Club pushes you down. No, look, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the picture. 
Oh, oh, you're right. I'm looking at the little picture. Yeah. What do you guys like to do? Okay, I'm wrong. Oh, I'm only looking at the part of the little. What the fuck? Um, oh, Jesus. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> the, answer is, the answer is easy. Under four chips, you bet 1.2. Oh, my gosh. He's going to be disappointed <laughs> by the result. <laughs> yeah. um, there again, I don't know on Queen Queen 7, I think my default C bet in a 3 bet pot is 25. What do you do here? Your, your cap is part of the problem. I'm calling this, Dave. Yeah, you can call. Yeah. It's it's can like you, if you were the open raiser, I would like four betting kind of a lot. Back raising as a caller is a little transparent and bullshitty. What do you do here? Call. Do you call? Yeah, mainly call. Anyone call. spice? You're allowed to spice it up a little bit, but it's... I don't think we are this deep. This is atrocious. <laughs> that you, like, isolate you call. Either. How? You guys are nits. This is ace, fucking ace terrible. You have Ace King in the box, and now you've just opened the box. It's it's like a bunch of nits around here, Scotty. <laughs> no, no, calling is not nitty here. Calling is aggressive. Calling is the most aggressive thing you can do. It's, it's better than. It's better in a three bet pot because he's going to have less fives, except for all of his, you know, natural easy to find ace five bluffs. But yeah. <laughs> See, it's raising sometimes. It's raising smaller and it is not the majority play. Like, yeah. Trying to, and Louis, trying do, to do 100 big blinds with one pair is not a good strategy. Louis, do people three bet bluff enough? No. So that should push push this way down in frequency yep. to arrays. It's like when you get called, you're just crushed. And the solver's trying to get value from like some proportion of like Queen Jack, Jack 10 hands that like they just don't have. So well, usually I wouldn't do that against them then. So B7. You have 13 hands on him. He's 20, but he's 23 15. This first three yeah. bet. Maybe I have a mark. <laughs> Maybe it's a mark thing, you know? Yeah. You, you have a mark against him that says misplay hands against this guy? I hope he just <laughs> clicks it against you. <laughs> That'd be so sick. Why are you guys always rooting against me? Because this is bad. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, it's in there. Yeah, you're you're allowed to do it, but you should ask yourself if you have an exploitative reason to not pick that sliver, and I think you do. So you guys don't raise it. Nope. I'm the only one raising for value. Yes. Yeah. What what value hands or what hands do you get value from? Ace, ace five, ace, pocket ace, aces. Five. <laughs> Pocket jacks, ace jack. <laughs> All right. So you guys well, bought kings at least. Oh, the, yeah, this is the worst case scenario. Fish off the line. Yeah, like let him bluff it off with ace queen. Or let him hit the ace, king with ace, ace king. Seven suited. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hitting the king when he has ace king, king queen would be pretty nice. Bold. Please so fold. Up. Please fold. Okay. Ah, oh, not there. Built. Little little action. Uh, what do you guys do here? I think right. you could. Call. You can. You can definitely call a little bit. It's a small bet. You could okay. raise. I don't hate it. Okay. Um, yeah, is there at least the solve... folding here? Hmm? No, folding's not an option to a third pot bet. You just have like five very live outs. Who? Okay. 
you have backdoor straight, you have backdoor flush. Like you're just not allowed to fold here. Oh, if you have a reason okay. the guy's super tight, like if he just literally always has like pocket sevens or better, then maybe. But like, no, you just have fine. outs. Okay. This is a pure check race. Yeah, and like you know, like yeah, you know, I think look people the, people oh. have king ten suited there. You check to them. They what, bet. What kind of connectivity does he have with this board? I, I hands like. He can have pocket sixes and be tight and be like, I guess he has me beat. He can have queen yeah. ten. He can have stuff like that. Yep. My mind, he just see bets and then, you know, he's going to hit on the turn or on the river. Unless we don't play. Yep. And you don't want to raise too many of your low pairs, but the ace deuce is the one to go with. Okay. Flopping sets is good. OP. Oh my God. These people just love to jam. They make a hand and they just throw all their chips at the pot. He should have lost all his money in a different order. I mean, yeah, but like it. Yeah. When yeah. they check, that tells you something about the range, doesn't it? Like if they're donking two pair plus, then like <laughs> what do they have on their check calling? Yeah. Okay, so I bet one he calls check, check on the turn, and then he bets small on the river. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. How are you here? Oh my God! What is this? It's about. I, mean, I think you have the. No, I mean, yeah, of course you have the best hand, but just like, what is he doing? What, like, what two cards should ever have this line? We'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. This uh, this tournament is pretty fishy, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you might just check call. You, I can see the case for raising. Or... Yeah, I agree. I think you call or raise. I think they're both fine. Yeah. Definitely raise now. Yeah, and you don't expect that he has you beat. You still want to get value. Um, something like seventy five percent here. I think that seems good. I checked the river. Ooh, ooh, too tight. Why? Too tight. Why? 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 Because I go like check raise. He calls, and I check because it's like a shutdown. And usually when you no, check... it's not. He just doesn't have. His range is not primarily sets here. His range is a lot of like single high diamonds, queen plus a diamond, queen four, yeah, pocket. Yeah, he just has so many hands that can. I, I just thought he was a. Oh, I had to let him bluff here. Yeah, but these just don't bluff, bluff enough. enough, especially on the river in position that you gotta just. Okay. I had I had a, I had a similar spot in a live tournament the other day, and I. What's Where that? I think it 75, 60, 70. Don't yeah, worry. you bet like 75% and a queen calls you. If he has like four or three with a diamond, he might call you. And all those exactly. answers are going to check. All right. Exactly. <laughs> I think he's pretty face up. His range looks like what it is. It's a th th can we throw this off? I want to see the sizing on the river. Like, I, really? I think the it's a mandatory I'm curious about that. Like, flop strategy, turn strategy were all kind of. Um, had options. Like I'd be curious to see how the solver handles them. I'm glad you got the turn raise in. That, that, that got some chips in the pot. So check call on the flop. Turn check. So yeah, it doesn't raise. Okay, so it raises bigger. Yeah. I never check, and that sets you up. Sets you up for like a river jam. Yeah. 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 If you raise like hundred percent on, on the turn, then you can just jam river. Mostly eighty six, but some small to protect your small range makes sense. I went with just a call here. Check that big. Oh. Yeah, there's not a lot to do there. So, should I see Beth here? Yes, sir. Wasn't sure. Yeah, I, was. I think you can. I think you can see Beth there. I think the four and the three—they're actually light on them because they're missing a bunch of offsuit combos. So, I think they just have a lot of air. 
Do you see bet big against a three uh, an A three four? Not really. Rainbow. I don't know. I thought you do. They'll have a small. They'll have a small and a big sizing. Yeah, yeah, I might be doing this one wrong, but like I would be more likely to go big on like eight six three, where I think they have a lot more of the like mid part of the deck gut shots. You get a better ace to fold. No, but no. you just get tons of two life cards to fold. And that's why I want to go small, because like the protection you can get for very cheap. I want to go small because we can still call a check raise with this hand. The, the problem is a Mixes. worse ace might check raise you here, though. Right? You don't get a better ace to fold, and you might get check raised by a worse ace. Yeah, it's just been a thing in my game where I need to find more of these like kind of marginal crappy C bets. Um, this one's in the mix. I have it up. Myself is doing this like betting like 25, 30% of the time. No more, 40% of the time. So the board. Oh, the board bets. The board does bet big. So we check it out. Big a lot. We base the strategy around 8x. And then it's 5x, 6x that can make the straight here. 3, 4, 5, blah, blah, blah. But one over card and a backdoor flush. 9x a little bit. 7 and 6. Yeah, 7 and 6. So 5 or 6 or okay. So it makes sense. And then look at that a 7 -0. Yeah, that, that our primary bet size for the board is very big. Yeah, you know, eight, yeah, eight, three. It's a highly so it's board, but this hand fits into the small. Yeah, all over the place though, because yeah, thirteen percent bet twenty, eleven percent bet thirty three, but then you're right, the biggest is the B eighty three. Yeah, you're I mean, betting you small as much as you're betting eighty percent. Yeah, but add in the add in the one twenty five, right? And you're not. So it's yeah, it's like thirty percent bet big. 25% that small, 40% check. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand ooh, oh, 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 double gutter, double gutter. I don't know if we're supposed to fold this. You can't fold. Yeah, yeah, this is not a fold. Okay. I'll be like that. I'm not sure about his turn size. Dude, look at his size. Like, like, I don't really think that's a thing, but when they give me good odds, I call. Uh, I think this is fun. Like, if he has like a three or a four, you can bet this sizing. We we check through. Oh right, yeah, it's in there. He has big. He has small. He has low of everything. Yep. And Nick, you're exactly right. You can stab with like a three or a four. Yeah, we just have a lot of outs against a three or a four. Did I just not see better? Yeah, I want to just, I just want to throw out a 25% here. Save problems like this. Because, yeah, you could have, like, gotten bluffed off by, like, 10-9, queen-9. Uh, jam. Yep. Yeah, Wait. Did I not have a, a million big blinds and now I don't have anything? Wait. Yeah, check folded pocket fives. I am, I'm not opening this. Why do you open this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Queen 10, I was not open. That's true. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay. It's uh, it's ace 10 0, king jack 0, and I think queen jack 0 can fold here. Should I just see that? Yes. Yes. Range bet small. Tiny quarter pot. And why do you call here? Because I'm yeah, Jim. Of suit, I jam. Suit that I call. No. I think like you just want to jam all of it in a PKO. Yeah, twelve big binds. You just get called by worse a lot. You just get it in good. I mean, you fought the world. I also, I'm not sure. That I think you, you did that one. Why do you check raise there? Yeah. Yeah, well, you have too much hand. That's a mistake. Yeah. I should just call here. 
Yeah. Level Too wire. Strong. You're never folding no matter what. Fish on I'd, raise, I'd raise some more like one pair hands when you're that shallow. If you're a little deeper, then sure, raise more two pairs. But you just don't need to. You're not folding. Uh, too big, I think. Six so side large, you're smaller. I think this hand you're going to go mostly small with. You I'm have like seven days. Okay with nine. this one. This is queens, man. It's not that strong. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> not that strong here. Or it's you. I think you want to say is it's kind of vulnerable, right? Like there are two over cards that can. No, not only that, a tree. Is... There are straight cards. The yeah. straight card, the board pairs. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. Yeah, yeah. But you can like bet small. You can check raise. You can just stick it in his face. Look at this. Never doing it. Wait, what? that's that's pre flop. It's limping. That's fine. We can skip to flop. That's small. that's small. Too good. You can see like the vulnerable over pairs, sevens, eights, nines. They're gonna take this giant size up and buy. Planes are just too good. And you want to induce more bluff raises because then you just get it exactly. in if you're happy. Yeah, hundred percent. That is the thing though, where you, like you could think about some exploitive strategies. If they're under check raising, it does kind of encourage you to bet a little bit bigger with that value. And you don't have to like perfectly implement that, but it's worth thinking about. Yeah. Pocket nines. Pocket tens a little bit more. Jack's a little more. I mean, let's go. We're going to win this tournament, huh? <laughs> Maybe I picked the wrong end this Yeah, it's possible. Nope. <laughs> Bonk. We're back. They have a straight, they have two pair. You don't care. The church? The people. We're back. The church is closed. Go back home. All right, that's how you win poker tournaments, kids. So yeah, this uh, oh, that ace is sizing. I just called pre. Yeah, that's fine. It's the the turn sizing. Check check on the flop. What am I gonna do with my aces now? Hot. Check again? No. No, it's not. It's not the the betting. No. It's the it's the potting. It's again these lines where like you bet full pot and you leave yourself four point eight big blinds behind. What does this look like to people? Like, does this look like you're getting stabby with like nine seven? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, but so then like, what's their incentive to call you with like, whatever? Um. Do they ever fold a spade? I don't think so. Yeah, if like they, if, if I'm good, if I'm going this big, I just want to jam. I just want to jam if I'm being this big. Like I would want to bet a like a mediumish size that's like reasonable, or just jam myself. I mean, it's fine. He had a hand. I just think those lines are a little face up, and I think like better opponents are going to sniff you out because you're just not doing that with bluffs, and like you're you know, stuff should be balanced somehow. A little tree bet, they five off. It seems good. I think the sizing is just about right, right? Kind of shallow. Seven big one seems good. Do you ever just jam Ace King over there? Or is the three bet better? I don't think so. Uh, the range I'm looking at says mainly just jam. Really? King off. Yeah. Uh, we're getting deep in the game here. I mean, I almost 
all the more so, <laughs> honestly. I'm surprised I didn't call, actually. I think calling could be a good option. Just yeah, I think you can mix, you can mix calls. Uh, yeah, I looked up a 50% of field ICM where you're 25 and hijack has more, and you three bet a lot, but you, you can still jam. Okay. still in there. Ace Kingo, just like, you know, we all know. It doesn't love to play flops. Oh, I think we could just get it in on turn, right? We don't really expect to be as a lot of flushes. Well, I think when we bet one here and it just calls, and then he leads turn, it's just like we induced him a little bit. So we're in position. We still have one street, so maybe he's few a little bit more in, on the river. I, I think I want to like center my poker strategy around like I need to do my own value betting because I do not trust these jokers to value bet for me. Well, um, you now and you're in position, but you're in if position. You, if you miss, yeah. you still have the river to to fire. Yeah, but the problem is you're going to the river with an SPR over one. Um. He's just messing around here, Tim. He might mess around don't... again on the river. Yeah, I don't hate it, but he can be messing around with a single diamond. It's kind of nice to just like force them to put their chips in now when they don't know where they're at. Yeah. Three checks. I bet eight. Did you yeah, fold? He was he was setting the price for his draw probably with a diamond. That's or yeah, that's what. I'm... I mean, he's when he he's not folding a king there. Yeah, and he didn't have a nine, so I, I've seen that a few times too. Guys will just you know, lop a draw and try to bet small to manage the pot. What was the board? Nine nine. Nine nine four king. Yeah. Yeah, completed diamonds on the turn. What street do you want to see? He just wanted to see if we're we're pooping the turn. I mean, I think the donk is kind of goofy to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Solver has no donks. I just like when they tell me that this is the all the money I want to go in on the street. I tell them hell no. Like <laughs> they're like I don't want to put in more money than that. Yeah, Solver's raising all nines on the turn. No, I'm sorry, against the donk. It's still raising a lot. Yeah, both are fine. This is always ace queen. Call. Ooh. No. What? We called against two 30 big blind jams earlier with pocket eights, and now we can't find a jam. We can't find a call for 10 big blinds. Yeah, but we're a lot deeper in the game now. But he can still yeah. have ace king, ace queen, ace jack, right? Yeah, but uh, now, like it must have been a small bounty, and we're a lot deeper in the game. So you flatted a guy who covered you to fold to a guy who you double cover, right? Like the problem is if the mistake is calling the fives, if you're not calling off when this guy jams. Probably right. Should fold here, right? Yeah, you're too you're too shallow to set by. Bet smaller here. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of room for him to get in trouble. Just a fold. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys say about this one? This is final two or final three tables. Jam. Very good. Every chip. Jam. All the time. Jam. 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 Never jam. Against, against button and cutoff, you're probably yeah. squeezing sevens plus here. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. Easy. Oh. The church was closed. Oh. Oh. Huge sweat. 
I'm like a prehistoric dinosaur. I think I'm supposed to barrel here and I didn't. That jack's good for your range. Because we're getting too probably. deep in this game and this guy when he calls here. And then I'm supposed to barrel, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think he pulls ever a nice. I don't think he defends ICM correctly. I don't think he pushes correctly. So I'm just like, ah. I think you get a cheap, you get a cheap bluff through, although maybe this isn't the best hand to do with it, because like P9 is kind of good and it has some redraw against hands like that. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> but like I think this is exactly the kind of hand that you can get to fold on turn and you don't have to go so big. Like that turn to be blind, Jam River, it's a pretty miserable spot for him. I don't think he's just stationing off. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, even uh, if you like, whoa, 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 pretty whoa, pot committing for him. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to take this one to the streets. Is that crazy? Well, I want to keep bounty access, right? So yes, there's well, a bounty here, but if I make a seven, kinda... I get the other two, and then here, uh, we're deep in the game, as I said, final few tables. So if I shove here and this guy has aces, it's GG good night. Right? Hello? Well, um, Hello? I think if we're going to have some non-all incising with aces and kings here, we're going to have some non-all incising with some of the smallest pairs that we're going to do this way. Fair. You guys heard me when, when I said we're very deep in the tournament now. Yeah. So I mean, yes. yeah, but like you, I, I still, I, at some level, I don't, I don't really care. It's a pocket seven is a good hand. Um, if you jam here, this guy has aces, GG, right? Yeah, obviously. That's, that's life. Well, how strong does an eight big blind raise look here? We, I don't think it's a good squeeze with seven here. That's the thing. We just get called by overcards a lot there. Like, like King Queen, I think it's just like has an easy time calling us off. Small booty call, big booty jam. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Queen to be results-oriented, can we consider <laughs> jamming again, knowing that they have hands like this? Like, make How him put his chips guy? in. How or just take his chips with, down. With queen-5 suited when we squeeze the 8 from the big. Uh, it's queen-5 offsuit, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, her, <laughs> they give queen-5 suited. How happy is he with queen-5 suited? <laughs> Never mind queen-5. Dude. Did we did we fold the sevens? Yeah. yeah, on the flop, unimproved. Oh, okay. So we called preflop. I didn't see that. Yeah, we we called preflop. We were closing action, which was nice. Right. It was an okay. Jack gang swap. I don't mind calling those sevens either, but yeah, I think calling is okay. I I see it as a pretty good jam spot because I expect that they're going to have a lot of folds, and sure enough, he had a pretty good fold, like an easy fold there. So what do you guys do here against the clicker? Sucks. Fold. Fold. Even though we saw that this guy is up to shenanigans, dude, you you probably can call. Price is so good, it sucks. If I know he's gonna play like that, that encourages me to check back his hand. That's that's one answer. Because yep. then on a turn you hit a jack, he doesn't believe you. He calls you down with his eight x. Fold. Keep folding. I don't know. Six big blinds. I think this is a theory call, right? So, Scotty, you say fold? 
It's a theory yep. call. You call uh, you call down to Jack Poro and ten three suited. <laughs> <laughs> so easy call. It's worth a chippy V non PKO. Yep. It's worth one point one big blinds. Not optional. Okay. Not encouraging when they like always have ASX repairs, even when your five big blinds or six big blinds effective, but it worked out. Yeah, he can flip ace five off up face up, and you still have like basically the equity to call. What do you do here on this part? Limper fold. Limp. Oh my goodness. Yeah, limping seems okay. I don't really use limping strategy, but it seems okay. Okay. Anyone else? Just Lin or Fold? MPB from UTG1. Chippy V jams, but you need to be tighter than Chippy V because most people cover you and they will call you off wide. Eh, I don't hate it. Whatever. Yoy. Yeah, you're supposed to defend. Oh my god. Flop the nut. Okay. <laughs> I think you're not supposed to raise. Yeah, good good job. Cool. Very nice. You might have let him off the hook if you jammed. What did you guys say? I mean, even under heavy ICM, you can still just jam this. But no, that depends on, <clears throat> depends on the exact spot. I think it's a fold, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> just waiting for aces. So this is final two tables then here? Ooh, at seven big blinds, I think I would prefer to just jam. I, I don't want to have a raised holding range anymore. Yeah, worked out. Seems like a mandatory call. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, I know the short stacks, but like you just you have nuts. Yeah. If he's jamming Queen 3 0. Man, on the turn, I was like, is he serious? Is he going to get me with green tree? <laughs> Off suit. That's probably out of line. It's probably not even, not even uh, equilibrium. Okay. How did we go to 62 big blinds? Promised lands. Roll back. Roll back, of course. Okay. So, final table. Here it starts. What do you want to do? Uh, oh. I want to three bet and fold to further action. This is like a kind of hand that makes like a, a not against UTG, but you makes like a good three bet fold in other positions anyway. So make it seven, make it eight. Okay. Maybe I should do that. I went with like a click. I just think it's a little small. Like I think it's a little easier for someone to like give you further action there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's fine. Now what? So it doesn't break out the side pot. How much is in the side pot? It's like what? It's like three point five four big blinds in the side pot. Because yeah, you went one point seven over, so there's one point seven plus one point four plus one point four. Yeah. Do you um, check? I would just bit big. Yeah. No, you want a bit big, definitely. But you have, like you have strong but vulnerable. The thing is also there's ICM, and I'm betting into chip leader, right? So I want to bet big, but it's like, yeah, that's the thing as big as I can bet. 
this is yeah this is your best hand like you can you can show up your best and most vulnerable hand you can show up with a half pot bet here against chip leader at icm yeah yep uh, because it's your best hand and he just without flopping to pair or a set he doesn't have better yeah i agree i mean like the chip leader thing's real but still like it's just an extremely strong hand what do you guys do here and it's not going to get stronger on turns and rivers. That's the other thing. So, like, I don't really want him floating me light and then, like, making my life miserable on future streets. Like, we can check back turns. Yeah, like, you can bet smaller with, like, queens and jacks there and kings, but ace-10 is the most vulnerable one. Yeah. I could get out of here with deuces. I have no... Yeah, because the, the, the 5.68 in the big in the big blind. That's yeah, but, I'm... like, if he jams, he reopens action. We're not really... Play right. That's playing against low jack. Like this, this hand sucks. Right. That's why. That's why I was saying fold it because yeah. if, if the big line jams, it re it's big enough to reopen, and you yeah. have to choose. Yeah, I'm. I don't need to put chip. There's also the eleven behind that would be uncomfortable. There's there's two rejam stacks behind you. It's just a fold. Yeah. You're, yeah. It's folded. Even if you think you're getting the right odds to set mine when you get squeezed, it's just it's in the toilet. But pocket yeah. dudes, guys, it never loses. Nah. You're getting the right out to set mine against this guy, but not against. Oh, good things happen. Now we lose a different amount in a different way. Good. Right? Okay, guys. So, yeah, final table ICM means that, like, depending on the arrangement, like in these mid position spots, we're going to hold most of our deuces to fives. They start to pick up more calls as you go up. Six is more, seven's more. We just don't need to play when, all these hands. When you flop a set because it's final table, it's going to be harder to get all the money in. Exactly. People just so, play very cagey. They make big folds. Deuces start to lose some of the implied odds value. But at this table, with some of the things that uh, went on, <laughs> Maybe not so much. <laughs> um, I think this is a call. For sure. Yeah, I think it's fine. No, um, just a fold. Whoa. Your second pair has been demoted to third pair, but it's rainbow and he polarizes. He has rainbow and we have a gutter. It's like it's a shitty spot. Yeah. I will so give him like, credit. People are really nitty on final tables. It it's a double it's a double blocker flush like I mean, I don't know that it's going to want to fold there. Right? You yeah, I'm okay blocks. with the exploit fold, though. Because, like, people are just, like, barreling kings. He's, he's clean. He's the chip leader. He's also going to be barreling a lot of air, more than anyone else, right? Yeah, you're, I mean, you're definitely right that he should be. Whether he actually is, is, like, an open question. Uh, jam pocket tens, right? I mean, what else do you want to do? I don't think you can jam here. I think you can. If you jam the big bang wakes up with kings, what do you do? You lose all well, the chips? I, mean, I don't have I don't have choices anymore. I need jammed. <laughs> I see a flop turn the river. GG. I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. So if you make it seven here and the big blind jams, you're playing to fold them, right? That's insane. The we are not race folding yeah. pocket tents. We are not race folding pocket tents. Well then why aren't you jamming? I yeah. uh, wait. I want to jam, right? I don't think jamming is good here. Right. Oh my god. I'm looking at the spot. It's I made it fine. Everyone folds. But you're not but like this Perfect. is not strong enough to be excited to race three bet and then call off. Like that range is like kings, right? Kings are excited to like three bet and call off. This hand like, is I open it. He opens at three bet. Like this guy's not gonna bluff me here. No. If he jams, I just fold. It's not about bluffing you per se. It's just like having easy decisions. It's a super easy decision by three bet and he jams. What you do... fold? Yeah. He has ace king O. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so a couple couple comments. I'm looking at um you wanna see a sim? Like it's not gonna be nines, right? It's gonna be tens, maybe plus, and then stuff that I flip against. 
So not a great situation. And then if he jams, like I take a flip against the, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the, the range here. Right? I think you're just over adjusting the final table. Like it's, it's still a gambling game. You got to pick good spots and like tens is just, just good enough. Like I don't gamble. On point, I gamble. Uh, on... You want, you want to see a sim? Yeah. All right, this is definitely not a perfect spot. I tried to look for one that's decent. We've got Lojek, min raising off 18, mm -hmm. final table. Mm -hmm. We've got more short stacks, which like means heavier ICM for you. But we do have you with 22 and big blind behind you with more. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the interesting spot, right? It's like you cover Lojek, big blind covers both of you. So, so that, part, that part is reasonable. Um, and then, yeah, against Lojek, min raise, small blind. It does three bet. It also jams. Nines are good enough to jam. Tens are good enough to jam. Jacks are too good to jam. So, phase it, put it in from Lojek now. Huh? Uh, sorry, one more second. Um, and the sizing is small. I feel like you kind of forgot here that like you don't need a lot of juice to get the job done in, in high ICM spots. Um, maybe you think people don't respect the sizing you want to go a little smaller or a little bigger but you don't well, need to deeper go deeper than that i'm 35 Eh, still yeah uh, villain and the big line is 30. yeah we can we can look but it's it's going to be smaller than than your sizing for sure so, okay so if we three that well, i don't think it's an equal sense because it's too few chips and yeah when when low jack back jams we're still calling off yeah i would call up 14 big blinds with them so that's not the thing. if big blind jams Jams were definitely still calling off. Um, all right, I'll see if I can find a slightly better sim. A bit you deep. Had, yeah, you had 30, but I want I need where you cover low jack, but big blind covers you. That's kind of part of the problem. It's, it's yeah. kind of a dicey. All right, this one's reasonable. I'll move it to where it's UTG1 instead of low jack, and then you're 29, and then big blind's 37. That's actually... Pretty good. Reasonable. Enemy, enemy covers the big blind in the scenario, doesn't he? No, after, that was after the chips got pulled. That's after he dragged the pot. I cover him. I do cover the big blind. Uh, okay, so this spot, well, it's like, this one's weird too because UTG1 is starting off 25 big blinds. Ma so maybe then it's UTG so that is opening. Okay. It's going to be a pretty weird range. Now we're three betting. Yeah, I wish. Make it five. Make it five. Let's just see this one. What what it says. Make it five, and then the big line all in thirty. UTG folds. Your holding ten. Holding ten. Um, although it's, I think it's worth noting that in the ICM spot, you um, you go really small to make it less painful when you have to fold it. You can save some chips, right? Yeah. Thanks. If you're thanks. contemplating getting away from this hand. Oh, I, that's not really what I want to do, but I mean, uh, if I'm forced. Oh, what do you guys do here? It's optional. Oh. I don't hate it. Mid. On the button specifically, I like it a lot better. Oh my goodness. You want to play a big pot with this guy? Not really. We're good here, no? Yeah, I want to keep it. I want to keep the yeah, I like this. Here. And you're lucky he didn't box you up on that river. Yeah. Hey, what do you guys say here? Uh, old. You know what happens when you lose a, a big bubble piece? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Huh? To the woodshed. 
And you lose a big bubble, Pete. You're like, hmm. Yeah, I mean, Chippy B King Seven is gonna be in there, but like, yeah. I walked away, okay. and we have pocket freeze on the button again. And this time we have a set. Okay, life is good. I, what do you say about this one, Tim? Hold. Huh? You see? Yeah. Hold. Can you hear me? Hold. Hold. Ah, net. Hold every time. Ah. King nine. King nine suited. So back to three. So is is having a seven against MP good? No. Yeah, it's it's out of range, man. Suit so the kings. Out of range. Uh -huh. uh, so. Is this not a good three bet? Nope. If I think this guy is opening too much. Well, okay. Now we're getting into you know different territory, but if if you think he's opening too much, it's a good flat. You want to three bet underneath what he is doing, right? Like it's gonna to want to choose worse kings than this if he's wider. I mean, okay, in um I looked up a solve in a pretty similar spot and it is three betting a sliver of king six suited, no king seven, no king eight, and then king nine and king ten are be pipping here. Um and mix up three bets and calls. King four so, king No, only king six, king six, and it's like twenty five percent of the time. So okay. that's gonna change a little bit on stacked outs and Positions, but and, that gives you an idea. And if he's wider, it's going to pick the lower ones to three bet. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not even using that king six dude. I'm just like doing king nine. Oh, fish on the line. So, pocket three, we see the flop, we bet one, he raised to four. This dude just betting one thing. Can we just like pick some strategies that we can use across range? Can we just like, like say that we just like bet quarter pot when check two? And because this. It's betting one thing. They're going to figure it out. Your opponents aren't stupid. Um, <laughs> Not all of your opponents are stupid. Only some of them are. Uh, <laughs> 2,256 of them didn't figure this out. So bet one. Yeah. No. The, why the clickback? What, 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 how am I going to play for a stack? Dude, the sizing is so face up. But it's just like but you don't. You just don't take this line with gloves. That's the thing. I just don't believe that the clickback size is balanced. It's for if the, you're going to have a size. No, the, if you're going to have a size, it's going to be like 11 or 12, right? Like that's the size you would go to. Something like that sets you up for like a decent jam on, on turn. Okay. Because, yeah, this sizing is just, like, really awkward. It sets you up for a 100% pot. You don't really want to jam 100% pot, right? Even if you're trying to fast play. Mm -hmm. what do you do? Even with a set at this SPR, like, you can just see a turn, bet it, and then bet Ripper. Like, take it across three streets. You're not worried about it. You want to, like, you want a three-bet flop with, like, maybe, like, ace queen, you know, maybe a two-pair. But set is just too strong at this SPR. Mm -hmm. You could check this one. Let him see a river card. If he, if he wants to make a straight, you'd love him to make it. If you want to make two pair. You don't bet him. No. I mean, if you're going to no. hold one hand in reserve, if you're going to slow play one combo, this is the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. But here again, like, with this, this SPR is just so weird. Like, when you bet half pot and you're setting up a, a quarter pot river SPR, I just don't believe you have bluff. Whereas, like, if you went, like, 20% pot on this turn, then I you you have room to like stab something and give up or stab something and follow through on river. I I'd like just love to see these sizings just like more geometric across all three streets. Yeah. What do you guys do here? Three bet sometimes, I think. Mm, don't not not here, right? Why not? I think uh, King Six and King Seven is in there for like twenty five. Too good. The the offsuit stuff. Your suit stuff. Yeah, exactly. Offsuit stuff. Big blind versus button. This is too good. I think offsuit. Yeah. Off. Suit the yeah. ones just call. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You lose two big blinds per hundred. Free betting. That's in my sim. 
What about this one? Mm, okay. Hold, 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 hold. Damn. Yeah. There's a read jam stack behind you. Like, this is a hold because of that. Bro. Sure. Charts. Yep. Just just follow the charts. It was spicy. Where are your suited kings? Your suited ace? This is a wheel king. Suited king is like king eight. At least you're covering Six. everybody. That's good. Yeah. So cut off with 30 and we have 50. He's going to get lots of faults with like two big pines under the gun. All right, this one's in the mix, Louis. This one's 50% raise, 50% fold, and one semi looked at. Otherwise, it's king four, king six. There we go. Suit nice this. one. All right. It's in game. there. Yeah. I mean, that's Although smaller, smaller. Thing. The sizings on this final table across the board have just been really big, and we can just hold them down some. Gives us more room. What about this one? Fold? Raise. I want to raise this a lot, right? Yeah, there's a one big blind stack. Yeah. I would make this 4.5, 4.8 a lot. Yeah, I'm looking at a sim that has us three betting this like 75% of the time in a similar spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, guy, and it's indifferent. Was, it can fold. It's, it's a shit hand. He's under immense ICM pressure. And here, C bet or not? Yeah. Yeah, but you can go yeah. order, right? Like final table. 1.8. Yeah, especially with this, like, best, one of the best unpaired hands. Yeah. I mean, if you want to just, like, put him in the ICM ringer. Mm -hmm. I think check 10 is a good one. What do you want to do with the jack 10? When the jack 10 comes for you? You don't really, don't really want the big blind coming in here. And you can still apply lots of pressure. Okay, it's a call. I looked it up. It's a call. Is it... <laughs> okay? Because I don't. Think I want to. I want to. I. I mean, I want to get aggressive, but it's fine. We don't have to. So I think I can... this is a good. No, under aggressive. different. Under different arrangements, I looked up a different solvent. It's jamming fifty percent. So. Okay. Okay. So. I don't wanna... want you. Don't want a three bet though. You just want to jam suited jack suited tens if you're gonna. Play. Oh wait. Just call. I'm doing them. Yeah, in the PKO with the big blind behind you, I think calling is more attractive. I kind of want to raise a lot of my like mid flushes because you know you can get action from singles paid hands. That's good aces, and he's just like not gonna do that much betting for us without. Better hands or big draws. That's the thing. Yeah, we got a tiny bet in on flop. We get no bet in on turn. So now what? We have a value bet. Oops, 70. Seventy. Kind of pot? Pot? Seventy. I went with pot. Oh, mm -hmm. did Chad. <laughs> He might find he might start to find some folds of aces there. That's what I think. What do you guys do here? You guys are under a lot of icing and pressure from each other. You can put them to the test though. Being in position is pretty nice. You could pop it. Queen seven is the hand that does this a lot. Queen five, it's reasonable. Yeah. Is the golf here? Man, I don't know. It's a weird spot. I guess so. Kind of want big blind to come along, so. What do you do here? Reba. Yeah, I'm between calling being like not crazy and three betting being a 
I think you can call this, but it's a really good three bit. I like yeah, it's with the ten big blind stack behind. That's the thing with the with the small stack behind. Like if you call, can you get him in there with um, some like worse hands and dominated hands that you'll end up finding a bounty with? But yeah, I but it's a really good choice here because when the other guy jams, it reopens the action for you, and so the guy in the uh, middle has to be super worried about that. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty sweet to three bet to a size, so that when big blind goes all in, he doesn't reopen the action. Right. Yeah, the 5.5, .5, I think he had like 11 or something. You know, um, I'm looking at a similar sim, and Ace to Noth can find calls. Is Ace 9 off in there as well? Ace 9 off is 3 betting. Yeah. Ace 8 as well? All the other offsuit aces are 3 betting. Ace 10 okay. off is like the only offsuit hand that's calling. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, raising queen three oh here is a little no this is fine this is good I think it's more like queen deuce but go for it. Yeah, well, how did you know? Especially if he's not three buddy. Then, what's that? How did you know it was gonna raise? Uh, because you have it filtered to beat that. And what it's gonna show when I play the big blind anyway? No, if you if you call if you checked your option on the big blind it wouldn't show. It will. No, because you didn't beep it. Yes, it will. You did not voluntarily put money into the pot. It will show on my hand anyway. Okay. You have a different setting. Then. What do you say here? I don't know. It's a shitty spot. It, it's not bad to keep this guy alive. It yeah. puts more pressure yeah, on the other I guys. I hold yeah, here I for this price. It was a very big bounty. I got tempted. I mean, I don't think that's crazy. I kind of agree with Peter that like, like next hand you're gonna be in small blind, you can pick up Ace Nine O and jam on him. That's very profitable, right? Mm -hmm. We we'll just fold here. The hand after that, you're on button, and he still has six big blinds, and big blind has thirty big blinds. You can jam on both of them with tons of cards. He has one less chip. Like maybe we have to start thinking about just running it. But what about now? Yeah. You know, you still want to run it, Pete? No. Nope. <laughs> well, thank you. Nope. Well, did you lockbox this guy? No. Show Actually, us. Solvent. Show us Lock how you queen, do it. Turn queen. Nope. Nah. I just didn't do it this time. He won. So I took immediate revenge. <clears throat> okay. King five was pretty good, and this is spot. When you're on the button and like big blind is a medium stack at final tables, a spot that's like really worth paying some attention to because there are really weird jams there that you can jam on someone with like a 30 big blind mid jam, mid side stack. Yeah. What do you do with this nice little ace nine here? You might just rip it on. I mean, I like that. My eight? Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. It doesn't matter. See that small? See that? See that? He folds. He just win. Easy game. Nice one. See, there's one. Do we just jam button there? Why? You know, I want to open call, no? Mm, not really. You're kind of okay with just like taking it down without variance. I think uh, seven's uh, good enough to call it 20 down here. Four left. No, I mean, I understand. I lose until first. It'd be really close, but I think seven is in there. Hard Probably jump like fives. So yeah, this guy lost it here. Check. Bet I size up. Put me in. What is this king? King six suited. Not his best play with the short guy here, but he had to do it because he had to pair. Yeah. Took nice. And, and then, heads up. And then we just got heads up. 
because uh, this guy got shorted and uh, he busted. So that's the heads up part. Two to one, nice. But then three off, start with a little steal. Nine eight off. I'm like limp. Okay, raise. Uh nah. Let it go. Seven four. Okay. Hit the seven. One bad call. Check. Now you pull a rise on the ace. I'm like, yeah. I don't think it's good to call here. So just four. Mm -hmm. See that small call, check. I size up because I have the diamond here. So here it's basically the diamond. So it's a good board for me, and I have a diamond, so I just barrel. He calls. What do you guys do here? Mm -hmm. He checks. Rested, I think, right? If you say you got the jack of diamonds. Oh, we're the definitely. Diamond there. This is like this is the dream river card to bluff with. So we'll yeah, Fusa too, yeah. So I went with the diamond, you know, because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I put him in. Ooh. Yeah, no. Beautiful. And then he folds. Nice. Two, I make it six from the big line of suit ace, of suit kings. He rips. I'm like, ah, no. So here a bit small, he raises. What do you guys do? Oh, heads up. Um, it's pretty dry. Probably call. Thing. You can click it. Why I'll do probably you click call? it here? I want to raise more like one pair type hands, like great jacks. Um, yeah, we um. Like, I know we say like draw heavy, but I think it's kind of like applying a, um, um, like a tighter range kind of like framework to it. Like both players just have like gobs of hands here, you know. We just have so much. Um, I'm looking at a heads up solve. Okay, I'm always clicking here heads up. I think so too. Heads up, yeah. Because he could have Maybe it's wrong, but... Jack, King Jack, Queen Jack, Jack 10, a good Jack that he's not willing to fold, or a flush draw. Or 9, 10, 6, 7, 9, 6. So you, let's see, you crazy. bet 33. Seven fours. Yeah, you bet So the first thing is, the, the first sizing is not really a thing. This is a bet big board. Mm hmm Including with his hand, it, it bets some like it, it bets some fifty, it bets some seventy five, it bets some hundred. Okay. After you get raised, um, this hand is mixing. Um, it calls, it clicks. Yeah. Okay. It's probably decent. Like if if opponents are gonna like barrel less with bluffs, then it's probably reasonable. To just put more money in now if like if they're announcing they have a hand they want to go with which could include like whatever he's jack king jack jack five eight five mm -hmm. like some hands that are pretty cooked then it might be a good exploit to just raise more than the solver does okay well i wanted the raise uh he stops i call he it just hold combo draw yep Mm -hmm. And very nice. That's how we ship the Sunday special 10. I'll I guess Ooh, on I Sunday, say, nice. Yeah, that's what I want to say about these like draw heavy boards that I've seen before on, on strategies. Um, it can be pretty nice actually to take to take the game to the turn and then give them a price that they can't call with. Um so like you know he already he's gonna bet the turn and you just have an easy jam on like on anything remotely safe, yeah. Whereas like he gets it in on the flop with like fifty percent, so it's a bit of a high variance way when like you figure that his range does have, like I I called it before you flip over the cards combo draw right. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Thanks for sharing. Always a pleasure. And see you around.